holidays, and there are lots of things to be thankful for. Well, except for back pain, which many of us suffer from. That's not one of them. So what can you do to bring back comfort and joy during the holidays? This is spine surgeon Dr. Vinko Z of Minimally Invasive Spine Care, and he is here to help. Dr. Z, you're here just in time. How are you Absolutely. today? Absolutely. Good. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about some of the causes of back pain. Absolutely. Well, as you know, and as you correctly mentioned, uh, over 80% of Americans uh, suffer from back pain. So it's a real problem for us. And uh, it's one of the leading causes of primary care visits uh, in this country. So um, it's, a, it's a big problem. Yeah. And uh, the causes are variable. Sometimes it can result from an injury or an activity. Uh, so something very acute. Uh, other times it's just a consequence of the way we live our lives, our our posture mm -hmm. at work. Our uh, posture at work. Exactly. Okay. Sit upright. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> long days in front of a computer or an iPad, uh, and uh, even inactivity sometimes mm. over prolonged periods. Uh, so some of the lifestyle decisions we make, which are harder to change. And then there's the weekend warriors. There are the weekend warriors, absolutely. So, uh, you know, trying to think we're still all-stars out in the basketball court uh, <laughs> during the weekend can sometimes uh, cause those problems for us as well. Okay. So, and obviously, the thing we all like to avoid is, is the aging process, which is kind of a something we can't really reverse or right. haven't figured out uh, exactly how to, which can contribute to just a breakdown of uh, the back um, o over time. Let's talk about some of the things that might lead us uh, to needing to call an expert, pinch nerves, uh, different episodes of back pain. When has it become alarming that we need to call somebody? Uh, it's a great question, because uh, a lot of times those episodes of back pain do resolve, fortunately, on their own. So even a weekend warrior muscle strain will get better, but a lot of times it's associated with symptoms that can sometimes be more problematic. Uh, okay. And some of those are pain, numbness, or weakness radiating down into the legs. Okay. And sometimes this can happen quickly, uh, for example, during a disc herniation. And the disc is the uh, spongy um, uh, tissue between bones of the spine that can sometimes herniate like a jelly donut and cause pressure on the nerves. Uh, and other times over time, it's just progression of arthritis and bone-on-bone -bone type changes that causes compression of the nerves that result in those weaknesses uh, or those symptoms in the legs. Okay. Um, and then, of course, pain that doesn't get better over time. You know, mm -hmm. when we give it a chance, uh, back pain that persists in spite of conservative care uh, usually warrants uh, a specialist to at least evaluate. Okay, so a specialist eva evaluates, and this is where the good news comes in. There's obviously new minimally invasive spine surgery techniques to alleviate the pain and get us back to recovery faster. Let's talk about those. Uh, correct. So minimally invasive spine care, uh, we believe in an interdisciplinary approach. Um, we use uh, chiropractors and therapists to really get people through uh, some of the initial episodes of back pain, and we have pain colleagues that we work with very closely. But a lot of the advances uh, that we have available to us, uh, we're fortunate to have, um, thanks to the technolo new technology. Um, and uh, it lets us treat those cases that don't respond to conservative care through a minimally invasive approach. Uh, and this minimizes blood loss in surgery, minimizes scarring, uh, minimizes uh, trauma to surrounding tissues. And uh, I know we had Bill Walton on a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a very excited uh, Bill Walton. A very <laughs> excited Bill Walton. He was talking about the XLIF technology, um, uh, which is a minimal invasive option that offers us a lot of power to correct some of the pathology in the spine and really get uh, folks back to feeling better uh, quicker after surgery and get them back to doing their activities. Yeah, he was a great testimonial because, man, he was feeling lousy before. I he know. suffered for a long time. I mean, he was saying, I mean, the depression was horrible, and he came on here just completely ecstatic about this uh, yeah. innovation. I mean, he's an amazing guy, and certainly he went through so much uh, before uh, surgery. And so uh, getting him back to feeling better and, uh, you know, a lot of those changes affected his family and lifestyle. And you yeah. talk about the depression and all those things really become factors uh, for those that are suffering with back pain that really has no end. Okay, let's talk about the 20% of the people that maybe don't suffer from back pain yet. Let's talk about prevention during the holidays. What can we do to keep our backs healthy? Uh, absolutely. It's a great question, um, especially if uh, you saw folks trying to buy iPods over um, Black <laughs> Friday. It was apocalyptic Aggressive. almost. In nature, yeah. Broken windows and whatnot. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the stress of the holidays, it raises the time for us to, to, to really think about ourselves, which is it's easy to forget about ourselves. And the North American Spine Society earlier this year did release uh, a series of kind of back-to-basics um, for keeping your spine healthy. And a couple of those are really relevant now during the holidays. Um, obviously, finding time for exercise each day uh, is critical, not only for our for good health uh, in general, but also um, maintaining good back health. Um, and weight 
management uh, during the holidays is really important for us too. And a lot of things on there are pre like They're reducing pretty stress yeah. and don't smoke and just you know moderation with activities. Exactly and, and when you're out there even in the long shopping days at the mall just be mindful of the footwear even that you're wearing. A lot of the times the you know high heel shoes with the pointed toes aren't always the best Not on the back hips sure. and knees. So. That's good advice for, for anybody because that's what I have on right now. Doctor thank you so much Perfect. for sharing this with us oh, and happy holidays happy to you. Holidays. Okay you. for more information call Minimally in Invasive Spine Care. It's 888-600-6474 or visit their website, spinecaredfw.com.